Good evening, Zions, and welcome to yet another installment of Festive Get Together, the Life Artois, with myself, or Nighty, as your host. Please do us a favor, tag us on our stellar Twitter account, and tell us where you see the red clock appear during the episode. Don't forget the hashtag, Festive Get Together, and you could possibly walk away with a stellar hosting kit. So allow us to help you unwind as you take a front seat as we chill with aspirational, hardworking South African personalities. We're blessed as a nation because we have many talented and gifted people, people who make their own mark on global stages. Our guests are no different. As we take time to enjoy the life artois, we are joined by soccer legend Lucas Khadebe and his son, talented, absolutely hilarious, the one and only Primo Baloy. These two are testament to the fact that with drive, perseverance and focus, the world can be your oyster. My name is Ufenza Baloi, but I'm better known to everybody on socials as Primo, aka Primo19, aka Brown to Man, aka Ntabelengs, Kabaleka Wetsa Joalo Ban, Rutwan, Naliwen. I'm Lucas Khatebe, a former professional footballer and a parent, uh, most importantly. Festive meal. Ooh. Seven colors. I'm a very simple guy. Give me everything. I want the pub and the rice on the same plate. And I want all the salads. Give me the spinach. We need the green. We need the orange of the pumpkin. We need chemer on the side. Give me chemer. Trotters. Trotters have to be there, you know, but otherwise it's traditional. Seven colors. Custard and jelly. Oh, don't forget. <laughs> we have a massive family. So I think there's 33 of us, 39 of us in our generation. My dad is one of 10. So the first thing that happens, that box of choice assorted comes out of my biscuit. So you, ah, uh, then you know everyone's pulling up, everyone's coming, and then, then the vibes really just keep going, and then you know it's December. That's how you know we're in December now. This is a special time in the year, you know, where uh, as family we get even closer, you know, uh, especially as a as big family that as, as we have. You know, it's great to see everybody else cooking. You know, the atmosphere, you know, different characters. See how they've been up to since we have possibly seen each other not as much, you know, during the year. And, and catching up, which is, which is great. And again, close family, traveling, bonding time, having great time together, which for me is quality. We take food very seriously here on Festive Get Together, the life artois. We know that food is more than just fuel. Food forms part of our memories as we sit together around a table or a braai and share our life experiences. I know right now Zanella is preparing for our food and I know she's gonna make sure that it's not just any ordinary meal. Kamalami Zanella, Wakuma uh, also known as Cooking with Zanele. I'm a chef and I'm a cookbook author. Today I'm going to braai for our guest and I'm super excited about it because braai doesn't go out of fashion. Now that we've got our ingredients, let's go cook and have the life of our experience. It's a dream come true for you. Yeah, they're in your homes, father and son, the most formidable relationship. In fact, now I was shocked when I saw how the son speaks to the father, but we're not here because of that. Thank you for joining us, gentlemen. Thank you for having me. Are you well? Thank you. Okay. All right, very well and okay. I'm okay. I want to ask a random question before we get to know why you're just okay. My son's turning 18, and what you did now just gave me an insight into the future. You're having a drink together, so I can't, not that I can't wait, but I'm like, oh, when am I gonna have the first drink with my son? Do you guys remember your first drink together? Whoa. You do. <laughs> the fact that you're like, whoa. <laughs> this guy is strict. 
this guy is very strict. So uh, the fact that it's open enough for us to do that, it's amazing, man. I don't think we've had like our proper first drink together. Yeah. Um, so this might be, you guys might have our no, first drink No, but I saw you camera. sipping and it was both, and both of you like reached and you both, and I was like, it's such a beautiful thing. My first drink with my dad was way better than expected. Yeah. Are you okay with that, dad? No, 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 I, I'm good with that. Are you? Uh, yeah, I think I got... I, I, I made the point where I could accept. <laughs> I let him have his first drink because I think he's old enough. I guess that's the beauty of family though, right? Because we evolve through the different phases. And we have to evolve as father-son, son-father, depending on the different phases that we find ourselves in. Of course. How special is this time of the year? Because, you know, we were talking earlier, you've yeah. hardly spent time in the country this time of the year. So this must be different. No, it is indeed. I, I think, um, you know, uh, as you know, our career. Yeah. You know, we spend a lot of time, uh, you know, busy, traveling, you know, when, and playing or doing some something somewhere else yeah. in, the, in the other world. But, um, but to have this time together, it's, I'm telling you, this is, for me, you know, it's, it's absolutely amazing. You know, it's... Uh, I think we're making it up, you know, for all those years. Yeah. Best thing about this relationship with my dad is that it's been growing the way I grow, you know. Um, it was very young when I was young because obviously he was overseas playing and I stayed. Um, so the more time we spent together since he was retired, you know, it, we started bonding a little bit more. I feel like I've been waiting my whole life for my relationship to catch up, you know, which is... You know, it's a makeup time for us. I got you. Which is brilliant, especially this time of the year, as you say. Yeah. You know, uh, the atmosphere changes. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, you know uh, it's exciting, you know, and especially seeing him. Yeah. You know, uh, being a grown up, I guess, it's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> How does that make you feel when Pop says he's all grown up now? He makes me blush a little bit, I know. man. It's, it's, I'm not used to. Is it not, is it not the softness, is it not on brand? Uh, our relationship was always tough. Okay. You know, we're always tough. So. This yeah. is one of the first times that it's getting really like uh, a bit emotional. Now that I've kind of gotten to a level of success that I feel like, you know, is a bit respectable, um, we, we're connecting on a different level. You're not connecting just as family or just as you're supposed to feel me or whatever the case may be. It's now I admire, you, you know, there's a huge sense of admiration now. There's, oh man, we are always laughing, me and my dad. We, we, it's like we almost it's almost like we brothers. That's the that's the thing, you know. The bond between a father and a son is a powerful love. A love that can lead families for generations into victory and success. After the break, Lucas No Primo share that love with us and tell us why they love each other. And I have to ask you. When did he stop irritating you as a parent? Because I know, yeah. like, as parents were irritating, and then all of a sudden, like, he's this cool guy that you shout at, exactly. and then I shout at you for shouting at him. You know I mean? had to cross a threshold of understanding, uh -huh. if anything. Like, I, you know, when you're growing up, you realize that your parents aren't crazy. Yeah. You know, the things they're saying, they come from some way. Mm. You know, whether we understand it or not, they're not crazy. So um, I think it came with a level of understanding where I got to the point where I said, Ish, listen first. Judge it later and react later. That's you know, very mature listen, of you. Because you know, as a child, you don't have to. Yeah. At all. Yeah. We grew up so tight knit. Mm. Yeah. Um, our yeah. family, we've always been really close. We have a really close family. So yeah. um, respect is the biggest thing. It was never that respecting that was kind of keeping me away from listening. So yeah. it wasn't annoying. I'm understanding. Okay. Yeah. 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 Values, values, you know. It is. Yeah, really. yeah, I, mean, I, I think. It, they were instilled by our parents, so we got, so this is the time we have to pass them on. Yeah. But, but it's to see them actually, yeah. to see these guys, you know, uh, having to grow up and being the people they are, it's That's absolutely a amazing. Thing to yeah, 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 it is. Especially after you know, you, you didn't spend much time with them when, yeah. when they grow they were up. Growing up. You know, but yeah. to see them grow and see their personalities, it's absolutely amazing. That's beautiful. It's not about the money that you give to him. You know, it's not about the, the nice things, but it's the love. Were, were you, know? you not scared him following a public career as you, knowing what we have to deal with? Yeah, I know the, the expectations. Yeah. You know, uh, obviously, uh, he had to be his own person. I, you know, as a parent, you, you know, you, you fear a little bit, you know, you know, what people or how will you 
react. Yeah. You know, whether you want to overdo it or he wants to be like me or... But, but I've always let him do whatever he wants to yeah. do. Yeah. You know, but guide him. <laughs> it's very, true. very important, you yeah. know. And, and uh, I, I think, uh, you know, as time goes on, I think it's... I mean, you can see, you can appreciate. Yeah. You know, the person that he becomes. Yeah. And, 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 you know, now and then you just, just give him a head brush. He's touching the waves. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the waves. waves. Yeah. I mean, I mean, only about the waves. Damn. It's the waves, yeah, but, Dad. Dad, it's the waves, Dad. It's the waves. It's like that. It happened out today. We are annoyed. But, um, I mean, I think when I was younger, it used to happen a little bit more than now, you know. Obviously, I needed all of that stuff, but um, I think I matured a little bit quick, so he didn't have to do that for too long. Yeah. Lucky that I was not there <laughs> most of the time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, most of them I miss. <laughs> so before we go and eat, I have to ask the most important question of tonight. Who's the coolest? Ooh. Ooh. Let's not even go far. Let's go eat then. Ooh. Ah. You think who's the coolest? Ooh. Who was the coolest? Who that is the coolest? Ooh. Who's cooler? No, but that's, a, about that's cool. an unfair question. Because we are the different, gener different age, generations of cool. Different generations of cool, you know? I'm the coolest. Yeah. You know, he's, he's getting this. So is less more? Know. So do we follow the we less is more or do we you don't this? Dis, don't discourage you don't want to discourage. Sim encourage, eh? Sim yeah, give him the space. Okay. You've chosen side. Give him the right. space. You're the coolest. Thank you. I could never choose side. Can we go eat in peace, please? <laughs> you can eat now. <laughs> peace. <laughs> Hey, you, he's you, like, Dad, you did you hear that? that? You can have that. Yeah. <laughs> did you hear that? You're the coolest. No, he's, 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 he's brilliant. Okay. I, I think he's the coolest. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Who's the coolest? Maybe he's coolest, I'm cool. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You're the coolest, he's cooler. You see? Yeah. Gotcha. And, and he thinks he's cool. He Everybody. thinks he's so cool for that line. I'm cool, he's the coolest. Ooh. Are you dissing your father in front of me? No, he needs to have better bars. That's all. <laughs> That's all. I'm cool. I'm cool. Offended. You said, you said, what did okay, you say Primo. Uh, look, you're the coolest. Listen. No, but I'm cool. No, that's not cool. Look, no, no, look, listen. You see, some the, the, the a big thing that you should know. You should listen. Listening is a it's a great skill. Okay. Yes, you're a great TikToker. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you. At it. Yeah. And let's uh, let's agree to this. I'm cool. Okay. I think it's time we <laughs> eat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you learn from the best, man. You learn from the best. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. guys. I'm not gonna. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. How? Can't do one. Hello. Oh, Chad. You look beautiful. When I was born, Oh, I'm born. The thing is, when they told me you're cooking today, I thought, ah, man, Zanella has got it all. And then, Dalamba Zanella, when I saw the food. <laughs> you're such a charmer. Oh, but <laughs> how's it been uh, trying to prepare for everything? You know, I'm so happy. I'm a guest right now. I'm trying to tell you, Brian. I need. I mean, I need to stand I mean, out. really. <laughs> local is lekker. I need. And you can just twist it to make it, to elevate it, yeah. you know? So we've got all the meat we've got. We're going to make a marinade. We're going to have um, a spice wrap. Yeah. In Yamayam, it's taken so I like I'm is tenderizing, it's stella, you know. Spicing your sizzle, na ke. Yeah. And then I'm a chops. I'm going to make my marinade because the secret is in the salt. From her heart to the man's heart, because what? The way to a man's heart is through his stomach. We always talk about food not just being a meal and we talk about the moments that we share around the table. A true honor for us South Africans because I think this is a first to see father and son on television together. Thank you. It truly is an honor. Amen. It is, Joe. Yes. So as we continue our conversation around food, can we please get some please. food, Chef Zan? Please. Malambi, lavan I can just smell it. I'm eating with my nose. Malambi, lavan she's here. Yeah. And this oh, mash man. looks incredible. I love mash. I'm a big fan of that. Are you a mash fan? I'm a fan. huge mash fan. Hi, Zan. 
Actually, now, yeah. So, I'm happy that you chose Prime. Right. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Bro, please tell me about this yearly getaway that you planned for the whole family just before Christmas that a primo had mentioned. It sounds insane. You? Is it that? How big is the family? Is it just who 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 gets the invite? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I, I get into trouble all the time. Because well, some people has to be no, some has to be left behind because too many, too a bigger family, you know. Huge. But um, but it's for me, it's something that I've always wanted to do mm. um, uh, that I couldn't do during my career. Yeah, you know, so. Taking time and spending time with family was was big after retirement. So yeah. I've always planned these uh, uh, getaways just before Christmas, not yeah. not during Christmas, yeah. just before yeah. or after, just after, so that we can have all this time together, mm. you know, with everyone now during those uh, special days in mm. Christmas and New Year's. I use my festive season, you know, uh, in a in a, a very uh, personal way, uh, because I think for me, this is a special time in the year, you know, where uh, as family, we get even closer. What have you learned about him when we're not there? Oh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, um, I mean... Uh, I want to hear this. <laughs> Come be humble, man. <laughs> Come be humble. I'm just so curious. I want to hear this. Come be humble. I wish you could be a fly in the world right now. <laughs> Sometimes I smile. You know, I, I have a smile on my face. Mm. Uh, when I'm on, on my own. If someone mm. can see me, they think I'm going, I'm go, going go. cuckoo. <laughs> but I, I'm so proud. I had to make sure that, you know, I make sure that these young little ones, yeah. you know, they grow up with uh, uh, values instilled in them. Yeah. You know, they mustn't take anything for granted. He didn't touch the waves, though. He was on the fade. He was on the fade. He didn't get to the waves. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It's, it's just, lines. it's only him. It's only him, it's only, man. You, know I mean? you sound like such a dad now. Now we're wearing it's only ways hair. And then tell me it's only hair. <laughs> the hairstyle that we used to have, I, I think was absolutely brilliant. For us, I think it became, um, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Pem. Pomet. It was Pem, yeah. Marele Ewa. What one? Ewa, which was nice. How it was so... I never pushed him. Or, or channel them to that, to, the, to, to say, you know what? You must do this, or you must do this. No, that's one thing I can definitely say. We were never pushed. I was going to yeah. ask. No one. Even when I played. Yeah. I played 17 years of my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Never pushed once. I was pushing him. This is a first, right? We never get to, to experience soccer dads. Yeah. Yeah. Soccer South African dads, yes. especially. Yeah. So it's, it's a unique side that we're seeing from you. Let me set the mood for you. OK. Final matric game. Oh, wow. Mm. Whole school is there. Mm -hmm. Teachers, young kids, they're like first the team vibe. vibe. First, first team vibe. Yeah, first team. You know, I'm I'm the center back guy. Oh, and, defender. And now I just spoke to this guy over the phone. He's like, dude, I'm I'm almost there. I'm like, whoa, it's gonna go down. He's gonna watch a game. Okay, cool. Go to the boys, say huddle up. I say, guys, he's coming. I know you guys didn't believe that he was my dad, right? He's on the way. So today we need to perform. Today don't believe you. Exactly. <laughs> so I was like, guys, today we need to perform. Okay. Before the game, he's like, okay, guys, uh, I'm, you know, and talk to them, come talk to us. So now the big guy's walking onto the field, everybody's like, oh, he comes and comes into the huddle. Okay, guys, we want you guys to have fun, okay? You know, you know he speaks. You know, uh, 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 have fun, man. Uh, uh, it's your last game, man. And that's how he speaks! And that's how he speaks! Is that how I speak? Have fun, that's how you know? speak. How's this? <laughs> okay, okay. Like, we all have to lean in. Exactly. It's like, you want to Yeah, yeah. It was unfair for the other team. Was it? I felt like he should have given both teams a pep talk just to make Shame. it fair. This time at the second half. So he is right here. Yeah. Uh, he's behind our yeah. goals. Yeah. The guy who was goalkeeper was goalkeeper for South Africa at the time, under 17. Excuse Ooh. us. You know, and I'm not even any of those, you know, sharp. 
all of a sudden he keeps calling me and I'm like, hi man, why is he calling me? When I look back, he's taking off his gloves. He's like, bro, coach says you must go goalkeeper. Hmm. I'm like, whoa, you. me. <laughs> Coach, me. Coach was I'm like, coach, I need a goal. I don't need a goal keep. Yeah. Keep put me in the front. I'm looking at my coach like, yo. Oh. He's like, ah, go ahead. I look at him, he's laughing. He's finished. Wah, 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 wah. I'm like, whoa. Okay, it's going down. Put the gloves on. Not even five minutes into it. The guy who just came out makes a penalty. He kicks the other guy in the stomach. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Not like this. You gotta save a penalty. A penalty. I'm there. You gotta save the a penalty. Whole, first of all, the whole He's, you're school. You're there standing behind him. I'm, yeah, beside I'm the whole school. It's the one game where the whole school came to watch. Because it's your last game. Then there's this character behind me, this huge mountain. I step in, I look, I look back, this guy is still laughing. I'm like, dude, support me. You know, this guy's laughing. He's laughing. I just felt the ball. I'm like, whoa, I <laughs> saved it. He was like, he was like. Get the ball. Everybody, the whole school's going, wow, wow. I get that ball, I kick it as far as I can up. Yeah. Our striker gets it, one touch goal. So you didn't just stop the penalty. Literally you literally created play. I assist exactly. assisting. I look back at him, I'm like, you see me? <laughs> and I'm like this, I'm like, yeah. It's my jeans. Imagine. You know what I mean? It's my jeans. Okay, you go on. <laughs> you go. You go on. Yeah, you go on. You played football, you enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, fully. Not that you didn't enjoy it, but you, you're good oh, at it. It was amazing. Yeah. And then I realized straight after that story that there was a game he went into goals where the goalkeeper <laughs> got a red card at Leeds United and he had to go into you're the goals and do the me. same thing. So straight after that game, some one of my friends was like, dude, you know the dad did the same thing? I'm like, no. And I went to go watch it and I was like, that couldn't have been better. I know. Couldn't have been better. So that's Thank where kind you. of that's why I have a bit of a competitive spirit with him. You know, it's not it's not competitive in a negative way. It's just like, dude, it's competitive to push you so, to places. You know, you've you. been so great, dude. I've seen how people love you and look yeah. at you and admire you. Let me do as well at like whatever I do. Hopefully, like I'll get even like a little bit of that same like support and admiration and you know. So it was a competition in that sense, in that, yeah. in that yeah. this guy's too great. I need to be even greater. No, and he, and he didn't have to tell me. Yeah. I, had to, I saw it myself. And I was lucky that I was there. It's phenomenal. I've, I've it was brilliant. Very yeah. few stories will ever trump this story. It's absolutely beautiful. No, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. No? Yeah, it wasn't it's bad. It wasn't yeah. Come on, man. He could have, he could have, know? He could have made a good player. He could have, he, could have, he could have made a good player, to be honest. I had to stop. I mean, my career was great. I had a really nice football career, and it was amazing. But um, I ran along some crazy challenges, you know? Like, my, my body was just like, I don't want to say it was giving out, but I was, um, I got one critical in injury, and from then on, like, it just piled on. I truly appreciate you taking the time out to be with us. Shadiq, please, can you come here? Hi, <laughs> Hey, Shadiq's bringing boxes. Hey, I'm okay, thanks. How are you, please? I'm okay, good, thanks. Oh, this wow. is our stellar moment for you. Oh, man. So we've, what we've done is we've got you beautiful gifts. Oh, this is our stellar moment for you. So what we've done is we've got you beautiful gifts from Bellagio. And Rua, I want to start with you, if you can open yours. And it's about time. Thank you. We know that you don't spend enough time together because you're spending your time with us. Sure. And we appreciate that. Oh, this is yours. Nice. These gifts we got for you are to remind you of each other when yeah. you're away from each other, but also of the importance of time. These gifts yeah. from Bellagio. Let me read yours then. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. For your time piece, we've written Lucas Khadebe forever. So whenever you look at oh, the time, man. you remember this moment. All oh, right. But your dad is always with you. Oh, oh brilliant. And Andrew, then, we've done oh, the just... same for you in that we've written here. That is nice. That is we've written special. here, Fence forever, so that you remember this moment. Oh, but wherever you are in the world, with you. Oh, amazing. Thank you so much. Amazing. Oh, Thank you. Bye. Oh, that's still a moment. Whoa. That was amazing. Like, that actually got me a little bit emotional, especially because, like I said, the first watch I got was from him with my name engraved. Now, you guys just kind of brought it to full circle. Wow. Yeah, this is, this is really special. Oh, man. I don't think I've. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's amazing.
a gift that yeah. is actually as, as great as this. As and it suits you, nice you know, it's leather, it's yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. That stellar moment was absolutely amazing for me. I think, um, yeah, even, even in the family, I've never really got such a, an amazing, you know, gift. Yo, guys, you're incredible. And I, I'm happy that as the Stella family, and here as we give you a Stella moment, we can give you your flowers while you're still alive. Please know sure. how much you mean to us as a nation. Please know how much of an example you are to us as black men in South Africa. And as we celebrate this life, our yeah. tour, yeah. just keep dreaming and keep achieving. Amen. Yeah, Amen. you know, uh, no, thank you very much. I, I think, you know, these are the moments that you cherish forever. Mm. You know, when you think about the life that you've been given, you know, in order to, to have this, mm. it's not, all, not everyone can, can have that. Mm. You know, to look back and say, and look at them and be, and be proud. South Africa, what a treat. Front row seats to witness this legacy. Sure. Amazing. 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 Until next time. <laughs> So next happy. time, yeah. time. we're talking next about time. time. Yeah. Next, next time. time. And he's like, no, but he's flossing. But your dad's flossing. He's like, it's next time. Guy. We're talking about piece. time. <laughs> As we celebrated connecting with loved ones and making time for having hearty conversations over great food, did you manage to spot where the red clock was? If so, visit our Stellar account on Twitter and tell us exactly where on the show you saw the red clock. Don't forget the hashtag festive get together and you could possibly walk away with a Stellar hosting kit. Broadcast live.